hey guys it is me phoenix we are here to do a general read to see what your energy is please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it yellow hearts you rock with me got my six I mean to have my back because i have yours all right we're gonna pull some tarot and then i'll clarify with tarot card that come out is the three of swords some type of heartbreak or disappointment that you have been going through um we are going to clarify to see exactly what it is but you know you're hurt you're emotionally hurt you're emotionally scarred i could have swore some cards came out but maybe they maybe they didn't okay all of these cards turned over i'll go ahead and take them bottom of the deck is the knight of pentacles fall um so the knight of pentacles is doing the work um yeah we have the queen of wands confidence we have the Six of Swords walking away. We have the Four uh, Cups reaching a plateau and the justice consequences of your actions. The Star Energy trying to be optimistic or trying to have faith about a certain situation. And then we have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is um, meditating, sitting back and kind of letting things unfold because you had to walk away um, and change your belief system. And that is you doing the work for yourself based upon the beginning of it. Heartbreak. So... Again, the confidence is there. Um, all of the other energies are there. Okay. Yeah, so the Hierophant. I mean, all of these energies here, it's just going off of understanding where your confidence lies, how you can have justice. Justice energy um, is you doing the right thing for yourself. And the star energy, again, is you having faith. You got to have faith for uh, Cubs energy, especially when you reach a plateau to where you are you know you're disconnected from whatever situation because of the heartbreak or just because you've already s sat back and tried to make things better and still be optimistic and have faith or have hope in regards to the star energy being here and so with the four um of swords and the eight of cups it was just like you tried you know you looked at it you know because if you look at this person here the lady, the the queen or whatever of wands is actually looking at the heartbreak and, you know, really kind of looking at it, playing a part of why uh, he or she got into a situation to where they had to walk away. And it says it twice, but it all has to come with, you know, reaching a plateau. The four energy, excuse me, the fours mean stability. There was no stability there. And so when there's no stability and you have to, go soul searching the first thing for you to do is to have faith in yourself and you have to do the work with the knight of pentacles being here again i'll read the knight of pentacles you can't get the results without first doing the work show up work hard keep pushing every day so we're clarifying the three of swords energy um oh i thought the card turned over yeah we're clarifying the three of swords energy the heartbreak you know and just learning you know ten of, yeah ten of wands heartbreak comes from burdens the way that you process the energy of what happened is what made you kind of look and question your confidence and question the things that you do queen of wands energy comes out with the king of wands and the empress so here it is to me your confidence uh you you questioning your confidence and looking back at uh not necessarily that you're questioning it you understanding where it could be a lack of confidence at right uh, comes out with the king of wands which is somebody who kind of overcomes challenges but also with the uh, empress energy it's like you had to create a certain situation and get out of a certain situation overcome the challenges of heartbreak and create a new situation for you because again a part of that oh the cards almost fell out but a part of that is you learning to walk away from the burdens you know it's like you're struggling all by yourself or in with your circumstances you're struggling with the heartbreak and it's just at some point you have to kind of cut your losses and say these burdens are not worth me going through and fighting you know it's like I have a responsibility to uphold the responsibility is to feed my family is to make ends meet and to make it still um, look as if I can keep these homes or I can you know eat this food or buy or even afford it even though i know deep down that it's causing me to look at things in a different a light and have to create things for myself so the six of swords comes out with the five of swords which is ego there was a lot of ego around you five of swords energy 
it's conflict, it's unwinnable situations, there's disagreements, and there's feeling defeat. With the uh, Four of Cups, you reached a plateau because you kept feeling like you were getting stabbed in the back, Ten of Swords energy. You felt like not just being stabbed in the back, you just felt like there had to be a painful ending um, or there was always going to be a painful in ending um, that was going to leave a deep wound because this is not something that you wanted to do. But the consequences of your actions, the justice energy is here. And justice means for you to do the right thing or for someone to do the right thing. Clarifying justice comes out with the Six of Swords energy. Six of Swords is walking away from the things that no longer serve you. And sometimes when it comes to that, that's a transition that you have to have in order to release the negative energies and the burdens and feeling a certain way. We have the star energy being here, again, having faith. What is it that you need to have faith in yourself comes out with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is somebody that's going to always take risk. And so it's like there's no reward without risk. Create opportunity. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. But you being optimistic in regards to this situation, were you really the one taking the risk or were you the one giving all the things that you needed to give, which caused you to four swords to reach a plateau? And so that is kind of how I see that energy. I thought a card turned over. So we're clarifying the four swords uh, comes out with the hierophant. Yeah, reaching a plateau, you had to grow and you had to look at things. And um, at some point you were obeying a situation or not necessarily obeying respectfully. Um, the hierophant energy is just like you had to kind of understand what it is and why you went through this and why you had to go through this. You had to change your beliefs. You had to, you know, kind of look at things and identify why you were reached this plateau and why you really wanted to leave and everything points to ego and and feeling some type of way feeling like there was more ego more burdens and also more heartbreak and more uh, disappointment in your life and so you just made the, uh made the choice to walk away from the things that no longer serve you eight of cups energy and walking away from the things that no longer serves you cause you to um yeah ten of cups um, okay, cause you to look and reflect based upon what you really wanted. You walked away because the Ten of Cups energy comes out with you um, having inner happiness, going after your dreams, letting the dreams come true, and having some type of wish fulfillment. And at this point, your cups spilled over because you weren't able to have this right here. And this is why the what the heartbreak caused. You thought that this was going to be that. But the Hierophant energy, again, is just to let you know that you, um, I keep saying that, oh, yeah, the Hierophant, because it came out. This person wanted you to obey everything else, but didn't want to give you everything that you needed. The cards came out. Bottom of the deck is the Princess of Swords. So the Prince of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Prince of Swords. These are learning lessons that you had to make. Uh, Page of Swords, Prince of Swords, or you can call it a Knight. Um, but anyway, the Prince of Swords, uh, comes with having clarity and going after the things that you want. But also the seven of pentacles comes with the hierophant energy. You obey or you realize that you have options. You recognize that with the emperor energy being here, that you respect yourself enough to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. But this also lets you know that there's opportunities and options out there. Ace of cups energy um, when it comes to love and new relationships, new beginnings and seeing your creativity because if you weren't looking at it that way, you would realize that it's causing you more anxiety than anything else. And what you're doing is you're looking for a better way. You're looking for somebody, again, like I said, that's going to do the work, that's going to show up, do the work. Knight of Pentacles energy, you can't get the results without first, um, without first doing the work, showing up, working hard, and keep pushing every day. And so this is a difference. Uh, not Well, it's not a difference, but... I'm feeling like I'm about to choke. When it comes to the King of Wands, the King of Wands, it says there's no reward without risk. But you have to be able to show up first in order to take the risk. And that's something that when it comes to the Empress being able to create, that's something that you did not have in your life. And so now it's time for you to realize that you have to do this in order for you to change your belief system, to understand where your emotions are, where your feelings are. And sometimes it's hard. And sometimes you can do it with or without a person. Um, and sometimes you just have to be able to look at things for what they are and say, you know what, I, I gave you more chances and 
now it's time for me to really just create the things that I need. Um, we have don't make assumptions and don't take things personally. So the I'm going to put the link up above for the game, uh, excuse me, for my perspective of the four agreements and also the crystal deck focusing on the chakras. So it says don't make assumptions, assume nothing. Um, when it comes to this energy called love or relationships, you cannot assume anything. In any kind of relationship, we can we can make the assumptions that others know what we think and we don't have to say what we want. We assume they are going to uh, do what we want because they know us so well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could they do, do you like that? You should have known. And so that's the thing. Not ex not expecting the unexpected because you didn't set boundaries or you you didn't address the burdens when they came up, uh, in front of you or the opportunities that you wanted to do. You weren't impeccable with your words and you made the assumption that somebody would just be okay with going with the flow. But what that did was cause you more anxiety than anything else and have to walk away because and have an abrupt, abrupt ending, ending because of the fact that that is what you did by not speaking your mind and just assuming that somebody would do the work and show up with you because you guys were on the same wavelength, which is not, you know, not the case in most, pers m most situations. So don't take anything personal. Don't take this personal that this person didn't work out or that you had to learn this lesson uh, the hard way. You know, my mom always said, hard head, make a soft ass. And if that's the case, if that's the case, you know, you know, I'm not calling anybody out, but I'm just saying that if you don't listen to your intuition and trust in your intuition and you're looking for somebody else to give you guidance and to help you be a leader, because we have two, two kings out here and we also have the emperor. We have, do we have two kings? We have the hierophant. Hmm. What else is out here? Um, the emperor. Do, do, do. We have a lot of cards. Oh, the Empress. The Emperor and the Empress is here. So, again, with all this energy being here, you have to understand that something about what you're doing is you learning a lesson to show up and do the work for yourself and not kind of rely on anybody else's energy to give you that. You know, you want supporters. You want a support system. But sometimes you have to know the difference between those two. Um, and then um, it says don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you only, right? It says your op your own opinions, uh, your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one, no one's truth but yours. So how you feel is how you feel. How you think this other person feels is how you think that other person feels. This person, place, thing, or situation may not even be in your thought pack process or in that thought pattern that you're in, but you making assumptions and not saying what it is that you really want is why you keep taking things personal because you think that you're on this wavelength with this person. And here it is, you haven't spoken and said the things that you want when it comes to what you need out of life and what you expect and what the burdens are in your situation. And therefore they're not assuming that anything, they're not going to assume anything. They're just going to think that you're okay with everything and they're okay with you constantly showering them with your energy, your gifts and things like that. And here it is they are just like, okay, that's who cancer is. And that's not the case. It is who you are, but you want more out of it. And just being comfortable with being around a person isn't enough. So you have to learn to speak your mind. So I'm going to pull from the crystal deck and then I'm going to let this old energy go. Um, you guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. And you know, this bell, red hearts, you made it through purple hearts. It resonates green hearts. You're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. We have the heart chakra. This is your ability to send strength and healing, period. The green adventuring. It says prosperity, healing, and growth. Prosperity, healing, and growth. I am a part of the tree of life. I am a part of the tree of life. So, again, you're going to constantly grow. You're going to constantly evolve in this lifetime, next lifetime, and you did it in the past lifetime. But what lesson did you learn? And no matter what, your healing, your growth is here. You just have to know how it's going to make you prosperous when it comes to your finances, the future, and how you have to overcome and do the work for yourself and show up for yourself and not expect for anybody to show up for you unless you have communicated clearly and came to a, uh, 
uh, conclusion of what it is that you guys both want and in agreement of what it is that you guys both want without making permanent decisions on temporary motions, meaning doing wifey things with girlfriend statuses or vice versa. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of foreign out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.